Hey, welcome to Soup Up Recipes. Today we are making Xiao Long Bao, which is a type of soup dumpling. You might ask, how can I put soup in a dumpling? Well, you need pork skin to make a jelly. When you steam it, the jelly turns into a liquid. It tastes amazing. Whoever thought of this is a genius. So let's get started. Blanch the skin for five minutes to remove the bad smell. Clean it and remove the fat because you don't want your soup to be too oily. Cut it into thin strips. Prepare a pot of water. Put in your pork skin. Bring it to a boil, and then down to low heat. Stew it for one hour. It should look like this after one hour. Now you add a bunch of spring onion, some slices of ginger, a tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine, two teaspoon of sugar. A teaspoon of white pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. Keep stewing it on low heat for another hour. This is what it should look like when you're done. Strain the broth into a container. After stewing, you should have about four hundred milliliter broth left. Put it in the refrigerator for at least six hours. Skin has a lot of collagen, which dissolves in the water during stewing. When the temperature goes down, it turns into a jelly. Carefully mince the jelly. Make sure there are no big chunks. Set it aside. Let's make the filling. You can do this while the jelly is being formed in the fridge. We are going to use some white part of spring onion and ginger to make a sauce. Blend them with three tablespoons of water. Strain it. Pour the sauce into the ground pork. Add white sugar, dark soy sauce, sesame oil. And half teaspoon of salt. Stir it until the pork absorbs all the sauce. Add some vegetables into the meat, and combine them. You can switch them with other vegetables like water chestnut or radish. You don't even have to put vegetables, but I think it balances the flavor. Last step is to mix it with the minced jelly. Set it aside. We need high protein flour, and we don't need yeast or baking powder for soup dumpling because the skin needs to be bouncy enough to hold the soup. A fluffy skin will absorb the sauce quickly. You will need about two hundred grams of flour. Add half teaspoon of salt and give it a mix. Pour warm water in three parts and mix the flour. Let's start to knead it. At first, it looks dry and messy. Don't worry, just keep kneading it. Once you make all the flour into a dough, then transfer it to a flat board and knead it until smooth. It should look like this. Cover it. And let it sit for thirty minutes. 
knead the dough again for five to ten minutes. This is to squeeze the air out. Cover it. Let it sit for another thirty minutes. Cut the dough in half. Roll it and pull it into a long, even strip. Then cut it into small pieces. Turn it after every cut to get even pieces. Each one should be about twelve grams. Sprinkle some flour in case they stick to each other. Flatten them with your hand. Sprinkle some flour and roll it like this. Use the thumb to hold the middle. Right hand rolls it, left hand holds and turns it. Repeat this again and again. What you're looking for is a small round wrapper with thick middle and thin edge. The size should be about eight to ten centimeter long across. I'll do it again slowly. Forward, back, turn the dough. Repeat this, and there you go. I know it's not easy, but do your best. It'll be fun. This is the most important step to make them look great. Take a wrap and put enough meat so it's almost full. I put a little bit more than a tablespoon. Lift one part of the edge and pinch it to make a pleat. Continue all the way around. At the end, pinch it together to close the dumpling. We'll show you one more time. Normally, each dumpling should have ten to twelve pleats in total. Don't worry too much about this your first time. It will take some practice to make it look perfect. Now let's get them to steam. If you don't have a steamer, something like this should work fine. Just place your xiaolong bao on top of it. Put parchment paper in the steamer. Cut some small holes so the steam gets through. Leave some space between the xiaolong bao. Bring the water to a boil, then put the steamer in and let it steam for five minutes on high heat. The traditional dipping sauce for xiaolong bao is quite simple: some shredded fresh ginger, one tablespoon of white vinegar, one teaspoon of soy sauce. That's it. Time to eat. Finally, but do not eat it immediately. You will burn yourself. There is an art to eat this. Pinch the top of it and transfer it to your bowl. Poke a hole, you will see the soup coming out. And then you drink the soup. Unbelievable! The flavor is so deep. All that work I did for the broth, worth it. Now put a little bit ginger with the vinegar and soy sauce combination on the top, and eat the dumpling part.
You have to try this. Whoever you make this for will be impressive. If you want to learn how to cook more Chinese food, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any videos. I'll post at least one delicious recipe each week. And for now, check out my other amazing recipes.